So let's say that you're creating a nice little report that is related to tasks and you know for sure that your project managers are using task notes and you want to include them. And isn't it frustrating that you can't find it in your OData stream? Stick around and I'll show you how to fix this. This question was raised by Tachana who I met during the 2019 project conference in Kiev. So Tatiana, if you're seeing this, thank you for sending in that question. And for everyone, make sure to subscribe and smash that like button if you want to help out and be notified about new content on the project corner. So let's have a look at what the exact issue really is. If I navigate to any of the projects within an environment, uh, for Project Online, I can, for instance, navigate to the Risky project. I already have it open here. And what I see here is that I have a task with notes and I have a, this is a note, note hanging here. But there is no way that I can grab that note using the out of the box OData in Project Online. There is simply no notes in that environment so how would we so how would we tackle this it's actually quite simple uh, we create our own personal notes so let's do that right now where i will navigate back to the project center and i navigate to project and pwa settings i navigate to enterprise custom fields and lookup tables and from here I'm going to create a custom field that is actually a formula looking at the notes within the task so let's do that right now I click on new field and I'll give it a simple name and I'll click on formula just make sure that you have it on a task level. Set it as text and have a formula and use the brackets and last brackets as well. And there's a warning here and we'll get back to that at the end of the video because there are two notes that I want to make about this solution. So let's click on save. And now what you need to do is you need to be aware that these changes only happen once um, a project is republished with that information. So what we need to do is we need to close project. I will not save it. And I'll reopen project. Navigating to my MVP environment. And from here, I'll open up the project, Risky Project. I'll click check it out. And just to make sure that there is actually a change in here, I will add some more text here. Click on OK, and I will publish that information. So heading over to Info clicking on publish and just waiting for everything to synchronize to the server. Now, did you know that you can already leave the project when the, this little button shows up here? Just have a look. I'll click on check it in and everything is good. So you don't need to wait until the full 100% is done. But with that, I now have a new custom field that is actually populated for that risky project. Let's see that in action where I click on refresh. Now I can click on choose columns and I can go to the column called notes. And here is my second task notes. And because that is actually a copy of the notes, I see it here. Very useful, very handy. So two words of caution here. Formula fields and especially task level formula fields are subject to heavy computation every time a project is saved and is published. 
And that's why Microsoft even advises us against using more formula fields than five. So make sure that if you're using this solution that I have presented here, that you have not gotten more than five formula fields on the task level that will significantly slow down your environment. And the second note I would like to make here is that you can only import or copy simple text. So don't use bullet points or exotic pictures or other rich text. So one alternative that I can uh, tell you is that you could create your own enterprise notes field on the task level that isn't actually a formula so that you can mitigate the formula limitations. But then you will miss that nice little note that Microsoft Project has as a default. Maybe you have another option uh, to include notes, or maybe you have a question yourself. In both cases, post them in the comments below. So if you like this video, you might also like my uh, explorations of Power BI Visual, or in case you are more of a Microsoft Project user, you might be interested to know how you can actually create a program schedule. With that, thank you very much for watching, and please consider subscribing and clicking on that like button. It helps the channel a lot.